Hello friends, welcome to QA Automation World. Today we are going to see how we can perform mouse over functionality with the help of Selenium WebDriver. So let's take a look at the actual requirement. Suppose this is a website and you want to do operation mouse over on switch to uh, like you can say drop down or link and then you want to perform the alert uh, click so here we are just doing the mouse over on different element and you can see there are some clickable actions available so we are going to see how we can perform uh, mouse over as well as the click on a element with the help of selenium web driver so to start with that let's start start with the creation of placeholder class so we'll create a new class java class my mouse over okay i will create one test method this will be our placeholder and i will annotate it with test ng since we want to run this particular method with the help of testing let's create the object of web driver for firefox okay fine let's launch the url so i will take the url from actual website okay since we are using selenium 3.0 we need to provide the gecko driver so currently my gecko driver is located at this particular location so i am just copy pasting this set property for gecko driver okay so this is how i am going to launch this particular website now once the website is launched i need to perform mouse over functionality on a switch to element okay so you can see this is switch to element i am just doing the mouse over so for that first i need to find out the x path for switch to element so i am just right clicking go to the fire path as you can see in fire path the x path is already present or pre generated this this x path is not reliable so we are going to write the x path for switch to element so let's write the x path you can see it's uh, it's anchor i'm going to use contains i'm going to use contains method with text so i can see okay so this is the text okay so you can see now switch to is highlighted with this particular x path and there is one matching node so our x path is correct let's go ahead and try to use this x path in actual code so how we can use that particular x path driver dot find element by dot x path and this is our x path okay so we will find this particular element but there is no mouse over functionality by default available over here if you go over here there is no mouse over functionality so how that can be achieved in selenium web driver so we need to create actions class so let's create the object of action class so it generally accepts driver so now we have created the actions class what this action class does so let's see okay so you can see move by offset move to element okay so this is what action which we want for our this requirement so now we need to pass the web element so we have already found out the element where we want to mouse over so let's 
get that element okay this is a your switch to element I will pass this switch to element to the mouse move to element method so now along with that you need a method perform so this action will be performed action is move to element this will be performed on a element and the element is our switch to link or drop down okay so so at least uh, we are done with the basic part so let's see if this script is working or not okay so I just started the script okay something went wrong let's see what happened okay I think my browser was locked let me run it again okay it started now again fail okay let me try one more time it should not fail okay it started okay okay you can see mouse over to switch to element is happened that's why alert windows and frames options were available so let's go to the program now and now of course mouse over is done mouse over is done and we want to select a particular element maybe you want to click on the alerts so you need to find out the x path for alert as well so just right click on the alert you can see this is the uh, like uh, entry or anchor element for the alert so again we are no, not going to use the uh, pre-generated x path by fire path so here I will again use contains that is text with alerts so what's missing okay done okay so okay so I can see one matching node so the X path is done so this X path will be used to click on that particular element which is opened by mouse over so now again I need driver dot find element by dot X path here I'm going to put the alert X path with click action so this should open your new page which will be launched after clicking on alert so let's do that particular operation now okay browser is launched okay you can see uh, the that switch to was done with the mouse over and alert is clicked it was happened within a second so let's let's have some thread dot slip statement so that at least you can visually see uh, what is happening on the UI so I'm just putting two second slip though uh, thread dot slips are not recommended to use in selenium so ideally we should use implicit or explicit way but to just see the behavior of our uh, application we are just going to put the two second slips now let's go ahead and run the script again okay let's save it okay now two seconds worked okay so you can see now new page has been open so this is how we can use the mouse over functionality with the help of actions class which is being provided by selenium web driver so one interesting thing which i wanted to show you like if we comment this code for example action code is commented and because in the dom structure in the dom structure 
alert x path is still there let me show you okay so this was our so you can see in the dom structure anchor element is present okay but at the same time it is not opened okay so on the ui you can see it's not open switch to is not opened so if this is the case what will happen with the selenium so we will just try to replicate this scenario where we are not mouse overing but we are still trying to click the element because this x path is present in the dom structure so you can see again so dom structure is having that particular entry though on the ui switch to not showing all the options so let's try to run this script okay let's save it okay browser is launched okay so let's see what happened with the script okay so let's see the result okay so element not interactable exception so this exception has occurred so this means that we need to have this mouse over functionality to click on the alert this is how mouse over functionality will be performed using selenium web driver so we are done with this mouse over functionality in this video thank you guys